Hey everyone, um, today I'm going to talk about intervals. So an interval is just the difference in pitch between any two notes. And when we count intervals, we count them a little differently than most things. Say days of the week, today's Monday, if I wanted to know how many days of the, how many days away I am from, say Wednesday, I count Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm two days away. But if I was to count an interval between two notes, say D and F sharp, F sharp is two notes away in the scale from D. You got D, E, F sharp. But when I count an interval, I'm actually going to count the first note too. So one, D, two, E, three, F sharp. That's a third. So two notes that are two notes apart from each other are actually a third. So that's why it's a little different than counting most things, which may be confusing. Um, an interval can be between any two notes, but I'm just going to use the D major scale as an example because we're really familiar with it. So starting on D, I'm going to E. D and E are just one note apart, so we call that a second. Between D and F sharp, there are three total notes, D, E, F sharp, so we would call that a third. From between D and G, there are one, two, three, four total notes, so we call that a fourth. Between D and A is a fifth, which, by the way, um, your open strings on your violin are tuned a fifth apart. Between D and B, there are one, two, three, four, five, six total notes. Again, counting the D, so that's a sixth. Between D and C sharp is a seventh. Um, we, we call that kind of seventh a major seventh. And between D and D is an octave. We Instead of saying eighth, we say octave. Now, a really nice exercise to practice playing and hearing intervals is on the top of page 23 in your book. And you're just going to play a D major scale. And you can do this with any scale. But we're going to do D major. Start with a D, and after each note, you go back to D. So there's your th third, there's your fourth, there's your fifth, there's your sixth, there's your seventh, there's your octave. And then you can do it in reverse. Now it's actually pretty easy to learn how to hear intervals, but if you hear two notes played one after another to hear what the interval is between them. I'm going to give you some examples. The first two notes of Happy Birthday, that's a second. The first two notes of When the Saints Go Marching In, oh when the saints, that's a third. The first two notes of Here Comes the Bride. Here comes the bride. That's a fourth. The first two notes of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Twinkle Twinkle. That's a fifth. If you want to learn how to hear a sixth, it might help if you're familiar with the song My Bonnie Lies Over the Ocean. My body lies over the ocean. The first two notes are a sixth apart. My body. And for a major seventh, we can go to the 80s hit, Take On Me. The chorus goes, Take On Me. The first two notes, 
take on we are a, a major seventh apart and then you go right up to that octave for an octave we can think of the first two notes of somewhere over the rainbow somewhere that's intervals have fun hearing them playing them listening for them and the music you listen to and play and um Go ahead and play um, Bridal Chorus on page 23 of your book, and you can do the interval studies on page 24 and 5, and try, um, whenever there's a pencil marking in your book, um, fill in the, the blanks. It'll help you learn um, how to count intervals in your sheet music. Have a good one.